Bellingcat. That's the private intelligence firm that came up with the idea that Russia was behind the Novichuk poisoning, the one that didn't really have any evidence of Russia having done it whatsoever. So, it turns out the organization has been supporting ISIS the entire time. Elliot Higgins, now he's the head of the neo the very big Bellingcat neoconservative organization, and it turns out he's linked to the biggest ISIS account on Twitter. And in fact, it was Elliot Higgins' promotion of that Twitter account that helped ISIS recruit a lot of fighters. Journalist Mark Ames exclusively details how Western accounts and figures closely associated with influential government-funded think tanks help to elevate the Xiaomi Witness account from a cretinous troll into a credible ISIS expert, who was subsequently promoted by Middle East correspondents from the New York Times and other mainstream publications. Now, eventually, all of the pro-ISIS propaganda that came out, like celebrating a YPG female fighter being raped while captured, etc., and all kinds of things like celebrating people being beheaded, it became pretty clear that, uh, well, this was an ISIS account and it should be shut down. So eventually, it was eventually taken down. Well, you see, the Charming Witness was the one responsible for promoting the new one, when it appeared. Now, these video, the the this pro ISIS account that was being supported by essentially Bellingcat and the Elliot Higgins was routinely showing beheading videos, you know, regular uh, Daesh executions, and glorifying them, not posting them and saying this is the kind of thing that's going on that we should have to stop, but glorifying them. Big difference. Now. This so-called expert, Elliot Higgins of Bellingcat, and frequently worked with the Atlantic Council, you'll recall them. They are the think tank that's funded by NATO and pushes NATO propaganda. They're also one of the organizations that decides what's fake news on Facebook and other social media sites. Now, they both frequently promoted the, the Xiaomi Witness account, despite the fact that it had frequently promoted Daesh, uh, ISIS, and supported many of their talking points on many of the inhumanities that they actually carried out. Now, eventually, Elliot Higgins was called out for supporting this Twitter account, supporting ISIS, literally supporting ISIS. It's not an exaggeration or a representation. He was literally cheering on ISIS with this account. Now, eventually, it was exposed that the person supporting ISIS was about a 24-year-old Indian national that this Elliot Higgins was working with. Now, when he was eventually called out on it, what happened? Did he own up to the fact that he had been supporting ISIS the entire time and then decided to change his ways? No, he attempted to downplay the account in an effort to shield himself from criticism. Other prominent pro-regime change Syria experts who also promoted Shami Witness account include Michael Weiss of the Daily Beast, Oz Katraji of Vice News, formerly also of Bellingcat, Faisal Itani of the Atlantic Council, Mika Lee of The Intercept, Liz Shai of The Washington Post, Aaron Zellin of the American-Israeli PAC spinoff, the Washington Institute for Near East Policy, and also a former member of Bellingcat. That's right, people who were perfectly aligned with the neoconservative order, those who have the Assad must go community, were deliberately taking information and promoting the narrative of ISIS from an account that didn't even make it a secret that they were pro Daesh. They said it right from the outset, and when the account was down, they were responsible for rebuilding the next one that took its place. So the biggest ISIS account on Twitter, which Twitter um, mysteriously just forgot to shut down the second time after probably being told by the Atlantic Council not to, that's my assumption anyway. So they were working with them the entire time. And this guy turns around and claims to be, you know, some kind of guy who, who fights for freedom and fights for the truth while promoting nonsense positions without any evidence to support them against Russia. 
So think about that. And Elliot, Elliot Higgins, maybe you want to think twice before you show your face in public again, because there's a lot of people who have been hurt by ISIS. And maybe, just maybe, someday you might face justice for having supported the Islamic State. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.